Kristen from The Quiet Crafter here. Tonight we are going to do a little experiment. Now, you may notice that I do have a section in my YouTube that has tutorials. This video will not be in that section. So the difference between tutorials or tutorials, I know what I'm doing. So I'm teaching you experiments are things that I haven't tried yet. Things I've seen other people do that I haven't quite mastered that technique. Therefore, it's an experiment. <clears throat> All right. If you are on my channel because you just happened to stumble upon it while browsing the web, thank you for being here and welcome. Love to have you. If you are on my channel because you have purchased one of my acrylic or paint sets off my Etsy page. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, it is much appreciated. Um, the color scheme that I am doing today is not a color pack that I offer. Uh, as I stated, this is an experiment, not a tutorial. So I'm just kind of using whatever colors I think is going to look good. So I like to always pour on a wet base. So we're just going to get this face wet. If you hear any odd sounds, my kitty cat is in the room with me. So she likes to get into things. You may hear her meow. She can be very chatty. Her name is Honor. She is a little over a year old. Extremely cute, very mischievous, very smart, <sighs> but never a dull moment. Love her personality. All right, so I'm just coating this in a black because I feel the colors I'm using would look really great with a black base as opposed to a white. I'm going for more of a darker outcome. <laughs> so for the pour today, I have seen people that make a flower pattern by using the bottom part of a soda bottle. So for tonight's experiment, I'm using canvas size 12 by 12. And I cut the bottom of a 20 ounce soda bottle off. If I was doing this with an 11 by 13 or 16 by 20, I would you probably use a 20 ounce, but because I'm only using a 12 by 12, we are going to use this little guy right here. I'm going to stick him right in the middle. So, I'm very excited. I have never tried this technique before, so very interested to see how it is going to turn out. All right, so today I'm going to be using metallic gold, metallic silver, black, titanium white, and this not quite sure what shade of blue you would call it, honestly. Uh, I mixed it myself using uh, cobalt and white. Maybe it's a little darker than a sky blue. Somewhere between a country and the sky blue. <laughs> I, I'm using this for just a little bit of pop of color. So here we go. I'm going to pour straight from my bottles. Right. Get some 
Hmm. I'm excited that it is the weekend. Very excited indeed. Feels like it took forever to get here. Mm, what a clog in this one. That is the problem with these bottles is that sometimes they clog. You gotta poke like a um take a safety pin and poke a hole through it clear everything up so those stringy things don't happen. I'm really liking this pattern so far. Coming out pretty cool. Yeah, that's on her. First she wanted in, now she wants out. I almost went with a pink with this instead of a blue for the pop of color, but eh, blue was just calling out to me. Tonight I was feeling the blue. <laughs> These are all artist loft colors that I use. One of my favorite brands. I love the consistency of the paint and I love the color it has um, quite a bit of pigment in it so it's nice rich colors and I like that I'm just gonna kind of eye this till it looks like have enough paint to stretch my canvas and get everything covered. Probably do now, but I want to try and keep as much as this flower shape as I can. Where is the cat? I hear her, but I can't see her. <clears throat> She has this thing with wires. She likes to play with the wires. She's over there messing with the wires that keep the internet going. Not cool, kitty, not cool. I think what I'm gonna do is splash of one more color with, with this white. And I think we'll go black on top of the white because gray is my favorite color in the world. Black, white, let's say we'll do some gold. Mm -hmm. Some silver. And some blue. And that'll top her off. So we just want to let it sit there for a second, let the paint fall and spread. I'm gonna close up my bottles. You know, when I think about doing paint pours, if you've watched other videos, you might have heard me mention acrylic skins. The reason why I use parchment paper when I do these pours is because once the parchment paper dries, <clears throat> or excuse me, once the paint dries, it creates these really awesome looking skins. And they peel right off the parchment paper without ripping the skin or the paper. And each side could have a completely different pattern on it. Like these patterns on each side are different and this was from this you know the same pour so 
when picking colors, I also think about, you know, what color skins it'll leave. Because I use the skins in jewelry making and other projects as well. All right, this looks like it has sat long enough. So I'm just going to lift it. Oh, yeah, see it moving in towards the middle, which is exactly what we want it to do. <clears throat> now, at this point, I have seen some people go through it and make lines with like a chopstick or a popsicle stick. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I want to try that. So. See them go from the outside in. Just doing a little swirl in the middle. Hopefully that will stretch out to look nice and not blend too much. All right, so it looks like it's it's pretty spread on its own. Now it looks like it's time to do our thing. All right, here we go. I'm going to go in a circular motion because I do want to try and keep as much of that flower as I can. There's a good chance I may lose the flower pattern, which is okay. This is, you know, an experiment. It's a first time for me, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I already lost that pattern. But hopefully I get a cool pattern out of it anyway. So now I'm just going to start stretching it. Definitely going to have to work on that technique before I make a video that turns into a tutorial for this technique. But you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Alright, almost spread. I'm going to go back this way. Right now I'm going to start going over the edges. Bring it back this way. I want to make sure we get everything completely over the edges. Come on. You can just keep stretching until you get a pattern that you like. I'm just going to let this fall this way more. Alright. I like that. Got some cell action going on. <clears throat> a little bit more blue than I intended it to be. But that's okay. I like blue. It's a pretty color. Alright. Let me just get my gloves off. Hit it with a torch. See if we get any more cells that pop up. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're using a torch, you don't want to be too close, don't want to be too far either. You need to want to be very fast about it. There we go.
Well, that was the technique making a flower pattern with the bottom of a soda bottle. It did not work out very well for me this time, <laughs> but I am happy with this pattern. I got some awesome cells going on in here, some fabulous lacing. Um, I am very pleased with the overall turnout even though it wasn't what I was aiming for. So this is one of those techniques that I'm going to have to practice a few more times till I get it down. I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified whenever new videos are posted. I do offer acrylic pour paint sets on my website, The Quiet Crafter, and that can be found at the quiet, uh, I'm sorry, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash The Quiet Crafter. And I also have other things available in my store as well as custom necklaces, pre-made necklaces, acrylic skin necklaces, I have digital downloads, um, I have a, just a variety of different things. So again, I would like to thank you for stopping by and watching, and I hope everybody has a great evening.